Hello, I'm Atsuba Judge, and we've been talking all week about the results of a righteous man or the effects of a righteous man or the blessing of a righteous man, whatever you choose to name it, praise God. But we're talking about what you gain when you walk in righteousness. See, we've been looking at Psalm 112 from verse 1. Take time and study this yourself and receive, you see, you receive these things into your life. When you read scriptures like this, what are you supposed to do? Father, I, I, I walk, I delight greatly in your commandments. Therefore, I have, I'm finding out that you, there are blessings you have left for me. So I receive them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, that's what you're supposed to be doing. As we look at these scriptures, that's what you should be doing. Praise God. So we're in verse 7 and 8 today. <clears throat> it says, he shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established, verse 8. He shall not be afraid until he sees, until he see his desire upon his enemies. Now, let me read that from the Living Bible. Look at this. He says, he does not fear bad news. Praise God. <laughs> you know why? You know why Isaiah asked the question, who shall believe our reports? Why? Because there is a report. There are always two reports. Trust me. There are always two reports. Just like we said, there are two sides of a coin. Just like we said, there are two sides of a story. So when, when a bad news comes, it's because there is a good news. <laughs> See, but it, it matters what sound you're responding to. So here he says, he does not fear bad news. He doesn't fear. Why? Why? Watch. He does not fear bad news, nor live in dread of what may happen. I don't know what tomorrow is going to be. Oh. Hmm. This one that they are, they are, they are sucking everybody. Hmm. This one that they are, you know, this one that the economy is bad. This one that they say we are going into recession. Eh, 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 eh. Look at, he says, he does not fear who oh, the man who delights in, because the word of God is always before his eyes. The word of God has given him reports to believe. See, so he says, he does not fear bad news, nor live in dread of what may happen. For he is settled in his mind that Jehovah will take care of him. <laughs> oh! Mm. If this is your life, and I'm reading this right now, you will understand what I'm feeling inside me. Do you know what it is? Every, everywhere is bad news. Every, everything is crashing down. But then you hear the word of the Lord comes and says, Son, fear not. Do you remember Isaac? Everybody was leaving town. And then the word of the Lord came to him and says, Isaac, don't leave town with them. Stay back in the land. Sow right now. And the Bible said, Isaac sowed in that land. And in the same year, he received a hundredfold harvest. Now that's the same land that other people were running away from because it was barren. But because of the word of the Lord. See, God is the one who takes care of you. And that's why we are righteous. We are not righteous because we want God to take care of us. We are righteous because we have seen that it is God that takes care of us. You understand what I'm talking about? See, someone may be stealing because he's, 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 he's poor. Poverty is, the, is what's killing him. So he steals. See, but imagine someone who... He's working. Maybe his salary is as small as peanuts, whatever it is. But then he knows that he's got an inheritance. He's not going to steal like the other person, except he has a deep problem in his heart. He's not going to steal because he needs money. Now, that's the difference between a believer. Now, a, a believer knows that he has an inheritance with the Father. So he's not going to be scared of bad news. Look at the next verse. That is why he is not afraid, but can calmly face his foes or his enemies. See, he says he will calmly face them. He is not getting infuriated. What? You want to kill me? I know what your plan is. You want to kill? No, 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 no. He is going to start. You know, like G.O. Remember when they came to arrest Jesus in the garden? Everybody was in the house. They will get him today. And then God there, Jesus stood up and said, Who do you seek? He said, We seek Jesus. And the Bible said, He fell down. Every one of them fell down. Finally, Jesus said, Okay, if you seek me, here I am. Let these other ones go. 
his own arrest, he was in charge of his own arrest. Can, can, you, can you just think about that? That's what the scripture says. He will, that, he, that is why he is not afraid, verse 8. That is why he's not afraid, but, but can calmly face his foes. Listen, don't think God is excited with when you're trying to, you're boiling. And what? We think you want to cheat me? <laughs> no, listen. Calmly. Why? Why would you calmly face your... Why did Jesus calmly face those people that came to arrest him? Because he knew the end. He knew the He knew even at that moment there were angels surrounding everywhere. That's exactly your life. If you are the one who delight greatly in God's word. And I'll tell you the truth. Today you're going to see the results of that happening in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Until tomorrow, God bless you. Bye-bye.